fit here put an end to Wong's problem. So far, we have failed. Madman Julian must be found and the coins of Confucius restored to Kilet. In the hands of Wong, they mean destruction. ancient and honorable name of Wong fall from the lips of his gracious and loyal niece? The doors must have keyholes. There will always be those who listen at them. It would be unfortunate to have to shut so beautiful a personage in the dungeon of the faithless. You wouldn't dare. Wong has dared many things. He will continue to dare. And one day, when is acclaimed by all Keelak. You are wrong. You were never intended by fate to rule Keelak. Time will teach you to guard in different speech. Right, Miss Lee. This madness of his is driving all reason from his mind. that your little affairs of the dawn have interested this Mr. Jason H. Barton. No, you cannot be dealt with one of our own race. This Mr. Jason H. Barton. I trust for his own good. His interests will not bring him too close to the house of war. Come on. Come on, cut out the plane, will you? Come here, one talk. What is it now, Chief? Why don't you pull off that uh, Chinatown stuff you started just? Ah, oh, next on that now, Chief. I ran out of gas and slipped on a little banana oil. Yeah. Nothing in it? You guessed it, Chief. Yes, and I thought guess you too, Barton. There's another killing in Chinatown. A laundryman on Huron Street. Ah, what do I care about another laundryman? The world is full of them. Besides, I send my stuff out to a steam laundry anyway. Did you ever run into a Chinaman by the name of Wong? If I ever run into one that ain't named Wong. Oh, now, never mind that stuff. Park yourself down in Chinatown and remember the name. Wong. Fu Wong. Okay, Chief. Fu Wong it is, but I could have done a slow story on the evil... Oh, never mind. Get out of here. Oh, you lost your dog. Oh, just a moment, madam. I'll connect you with the classified advertising. What does he want us to do? Get out an extra? Oh, well. Park that thing, will you? Reggie, please. Reggie, please. Reggie, please. Reggie, did you get a kick out of it? They've been kicking all day. So, chalk that one up for you. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. I begged for it. Oh, uh, I got some bad news for you. I can't take you out to lunch today. <laughs> that isn't bad news. Robert's of the Gazette has been trying to get me all morning to take me to lunch at the Biltmore. Oh, is that so? Well, you listen to me. Well, you're not going out with any Gazette lug anywhere. 
said you with a tone of finality. Says I with a ton of finality. Hello? Oh, yes, Chief. Yes, he's here now. All right, I'll tell him. She says to remind you that the Chinaman's name is Wong. You tell that pay-stabbing, credit-grabbing hunk of animated baloney to go out and find himself a nice wet lake and wrap it around his ears. Oh, hello. Yes, Chief. He said thank you a thousand times. Oh, yes, I'll tell him. He says he doesn't want to burden you with too much detail, but to remind you that this is a daily newspaper and not a monthly magazine. Okay, kid. You let that gazette like spend his money at the Biltmore for lunch, but remember, you have a steak and mushroom dinner date with a regular guy. <laughs> <laughs> let me know. Hello, attendant. You come and get him now. He's right. <laughs> All right, what is it you want? I've been told from the globe to do this murder. You're too late. It's already been done. Huh. I'll buy that one. Crack from the cop is worth two from the club. Where's the body? Must have been writing something. Yeah, but we couldn't find nothing the poor devil had been writing at the time. Me and one of the dicks found him just like that. You're the first one of the reporters and likely the last. The newspapers don't care nothing about these Tom killings. So you think it's a Tom killing, do you? What else could it be? Even the dick could see it wasn't all day. Yeah, you're right. Tom wars are all stuff, but I'll tip you off to one thing. This is no tongue job. Ever hear of a Chinaman named Wong? They all sound alike to me. And this Chinaman ain't much for talking. Except old I see. The old dealer down the street. He knows everybody and he's a regular old gossip. Well, I see, huh? I'll look him up. After I take a peek around a bit. one coin to be found, and calmly you report failure. No, me no steal. Why, it's lies. What lies express so plainly. No, no, no. no. Chinamen is jabbering like monkeys. I've had to clear them away every ten minutes. On your way, on your way. This club makes about twenty knots an hour, and I'm getting up steam. noisier than a Chinaman when you want quiet or quieter when you want information. You know, Confucius said Titans are the same thing. Has he been in here too? Not today. Then it's all right then. Nobody unofficial must view the body. Do you believe in hunches? The Milginicutties was raised on them. Then believe in the one I've got, Max. It's hotter than the first of August. Much less.
ไปอีกปัดเถอะละเอ๊ะดูไลค์สมเอ๊ะมายบีโซ่แต่ไม่ต้องพูดโซ่คุณจะดูไลค์เอ๊ะฉันจะสอนคุณเอ๊ะคุณเป็นคนที่อยู่นานมากเลยนะฉันคิดว่าคุณจะสร้างเรื่องเล่าให้ทุกคนฟังได้ไหมเ
Now, how did you find that out? Someone just told me. Uh-oh. Somebody's been reading my mail. Uh, who was that? I don't know. Say, you don't happen to be a spider snatcher, do you? Spider snatcher? Let it ride. Let it ride. Let's start all over again. Cast your spectacles on that. interest me much to have the other half of the ticket. I'm beginning to develop quite an interest in that ticket myself, Professor. It merely mentions the coin of Confucius. What has the coins of Confucius got to do with a laundry ticket? That I cannot say. Well, never mind the ticket. What about the coins? It goes back into the history of my country. But that wouldn't interest you. You think it wouldn't? Well, I'll be seeing you. Goodbye, sir. Professor. And you have no idea who telephoned you? His voice was unknown to me. The young man desired you to make a translation of the ticket, as you had been warned? Precisely. But unfortunately, a portion of the ticket was missing. He promised to bring it another time. Know the full message of the ticket will be of great value. Bring this information to me, and the province which he left will not disregard the favor. Hey, what kind of pie is this? Well, it's the same shape as a lemon pie, but what that stuff is on the top, I don't know. I know. Talcum powder. <laughs> I think I'm a card. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Biltmore, huh? Um, meet Chuck Roberts of the Gazette. How do you do, Mr. Roberts? How do you I'm do? pleased. Oh, <laughs> you nearly forgot your hat, Mr. Roberts. Well, I'm not going yet. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, darling, the menu, please. Thank you, darling. What are you saying? Would you like to go to the six day bike race with me on Tuesday night? Oh, I'd love it. I think it'd be swell. Lovely, well, get in the jam and have an awful spill. That rhymes with pill. And after the uh, race, we can go someplace and dance. I'm going to say there's a bill for it. Oh, good. Then I'll dress. Fine. I hope so. <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to excuse me for a little while. I've got to get back to my business. <laughs> Goodbye. Liberty, all four, three, six. Liberty, 0436. Hello? Oh, is Chuck Roberts there? Roberts? Just a minute, please. Mr. Roberts, you want on the phone? All right, thanks. Excuse me. Hello. Hello, Chuck. Yeah. I always like to have a ticket for the football game this afternoon. I like it. Okay, be at the bowl in 30 minutes, and there'll be one waiting for you at the East Gate. Okay. Who is it? Pettis Pettis again. Who? Pettis Pettis again. Oh, thanks, George. Okay. Jim, I'm sorry, Peg, that was the boss. I've got to go right back to the office. He's got a special assignment for me. I'm awfully sorry. I'll see you soon, won't I? Bye. Hello, back again. For a dumb egg, you're almost smart, but not as smart as you think, Mr. Wise Guy. Why well, say, listen? You mean to tell me you really like that mug? I don't mean to tell you anything except to mind your own business. What do you have, Mr. Martin? A glass of water and nothing to eat. Some people want to starve themselves. Perfectly all right with me. Aren't you ever happy unless you make a fellow feel miserable? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Say, waitress, bring him a piece of pie. He doesn't know what he wants. 
let's forget it. How about dinner? You know, there's something about you that a fella has to like. No, you're not so bad either, come to think of it. Hey, listen, what do you... Come on, somebody, what do you have to do with your service around here? Well, what's your order? What's that? Corned beef and cabbage. Oh, that'll do. Well, oh, I'm sorry, that belongs to someone else. Give him my apologies. <clears throat> Ooh, corned beef and cabbage. Gee, that reminds me of McGillicuddy. I gotta get back in the job. They'll have to pull another murder on me. These Chinese work fast. I just have time for a bite. Hey, wafers, give me another order of this stuff. And that's why any chance isn't your idea of steak and mushrooms, is it? Not on your life. When I say steak and mushroom, I mean steak and mushroom. Hello, boy. Steak and mushroom. Hello, Mr. So you don't know nothing about it, eh? Well, well, well. I suppose you were all out of town when this happened. Hello, Mac. What, another one? Seems like they just can't keep from killing each other off. Say, this is getting monotonous. I'm supposed to bring in real live news, and the best I can do is run down dead Jinem. Not her dead ones than live ones, if you care what's happening to you. Especially where killing's a pastime.
Well, it's only for a little place this is, isn't it? Would you mind telling me what your interest is here? Oh, no, you tell me about you. Sam Toy was a connection of mine. I get it. Somebody cut off the connection. It might be called that. Well, uh, if Sam Toy was a relative, this might mean something to you. Are you aware of what is written here? Sorry, not a Chinaman's chance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you mean that? Ah, you're wasting your time. You're looking for a coin, someone beat you to it. You and another Chinese gentleman wearing a dragon ring seem to have the same idea about that coin. Only he worked fast at it. A dragon ring? Sure, one of those long-tailed animals with you a... You are sure about this ring? You bet I am, but the gentleman that's wearing the ring packs a mean wallet. A goodly thing to know. Thank you. Hey! Listen, pal, what's this all about? It would give me great pleasure to enlighten you. But there are reasons why it is impossible. However, you may have done my country a great service. I'll trade the medals for a little lowdown. Say about who killed Sam Toy, what relation he is of yours, some information about a Chinaman named Wong. You don't happen to be Mr. Wong, do you? To think I am Wong would be a grave mistake. I'm beginning to suspect I've made a couple of them already. I, too, would like to know something of this man Wong. Well, listen, pal, what do you say you and me get together? Listen, uh, Mr. Uh, I didn't quite get the name. I can't. He let China. Jason H. Barton, Mo Sang Zay. Goodbye, Mr. Jason H. Barton, Mo Sang Zay. You newspaper lads move right in, don't you? Who's your buddy? Says his name is High Strung or something. He's a new one on me. Yeah, they're all new ones on me. What I can't understand is why a nice home-loving boy like you likes to play around with cutthroats and murderers. The same to you, Mr. McGillicuddy, and many of them. Lucky, nicey, antique candy? <laughs> Tastes like Mortimer's glove. <laughs> How about a uh, nice mess of earth? If you're in the market. <laughs> yes, we've been here for 50 years. <laughs> so the earth. Uh, perhaps you'd like a silly green herring. Absolutely a herring to end all herring. Huh? <laughs> Hello, Tuss. Where did you come from? Well, I see. Very old man. All feet to make little noise. Meet the sail of the resistance. Merci, my bon Oh, that's what you wanted. Why didn't you say so before, little girl? You didn't give me an opportunity. <laughs> maybe you bring tickets, maybe? I did not. Maybe big university man tell you what he say, maybe. They're getting hot. Play another hunch game, maybe. You've got the idea, old timer. My hunch is if anyone knows what's going on around here, you do. Hunch game no good. Fly, hear nothing, see nothing. Fly, speak nothing. Never mind the monkey business. You go now. Come back tomorrow, maybe. Maybe ticket bring you luck. Maybe. Sorry, I'm sticking around for a while. Maybe you buy some herb, maybe. Tomorrow buy herb, maybe. Today, maybe you talk, maybe. I see no talk. Too much talk, too much trouble. There's Sam Toy laundry ticket. How come you got such a boot out of that? Well, I see no get boot. Glad you got the paper. Hurdle it. Why were you hot footing it out of the laundry a few minutes ago? There's no hot feet.
Listen, my paper wants to load down on this Sam Toy killing, and I've got a hunch you've got it. Hey, Lyon. Have you got any more of those Chinese gum drops? Oh, so here you are. This loafing's got me down. There ain't been a murder around here in 30 minutes. Oh, oh so you caught up with this one again. Is this another one of your connections? No. Connection? Maybe long time ago, friend. Maybe, I don't know. I guess so. Man sometimes enters his neighbor's door as friend. Other times as enemy. Well, I see his door very friendly. My eyes see something in you that is familiar. But my mind does not recall it. Were you ever in... Killet? Killet? Long far away, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I guess so. But I see one time, Corus Angeles and Bo. What can you tell us of your departed neighbor, Sam Toy? Uh, no, no, Sam Toy. He's a washing man. I see, sir. Do you know anything about a man named Wong? Hey, hey, if you're going to throw them away, I know a fellow that can use some of them. Uh, Wong, uh, uh, no come shop. Well, I see very old man. No go out. No, no, Wong. Maybe don't pick China down. Maybe so, I don't know. I guess not. Maybe you, Wong. Ah, uh, well, maybe so, I don't know, I give up. Me, Lysi, the herb dealer. Everybody know old Lysi. Okay, I was just kidding. <laughs> Come on, lad, there's no news here. Say, if it's true that no news is good news, that guy can make an editor awfully happy. Well, we'll run down that guy won't yet. As they say in your country, I'm full. Okay, boys. You'll have to get along without me now for a little while because I have a heavy day with a hungry female. And as they also say in my country, up K is the up J and he's in the egg bay. Strange idiom. These American pets. Very friendly doll, I see. The Secret Service of Keelat has grown negligent when it allows so illustrious a member to fall into the hands of one so humble as old Lysi, the herb dealer. Oh, the mysterious Mr. Wong is my key, the traitor. I should order chop suey. Well, this steak and mushrooms, dear, tossed around a little bit. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to do my own tossing around. Oh, it's just like a woman always squawking. Now you're beeping about the food. This costs a pretty penny. Don't you think I'm due for a beef or two? You know, this isn't a Biltmore. Get everything here you can get at the Biltmore. Light, food, music, atmosphere, indigestion. Yeah, but I got you and not Chuck Roberts. Oh, yeah, you've got Chuck Roberts right in there. Everything's in there. I've finished my dinner. Would you mind telling me why we're down here in Chinatown? Right now, I'm looking for this fellow Wong. So, would you mind putting these things down and eating with your knife and let's get out of here? Oh, lay off, will you? Who's Wong? Yeah, he's no pushover. He's a slick lug. He works with a knife and he's never out of work. I mixed up in it somewhere. 
Uh, Twelve coins of Confucius. Oh, a money argument, huh? He's been holding his following for a couple of centuries. Oh, Wong? No, Confucius. Say, how old is this guy? A couple of thousand years. He ought to call in an undertaker. Hey, listen, you're not kidding me, sister. This thing is serious. Experience a great danger. Something tells me I'm not going to be very happy here. <gasps> What's the matter? Is the chop suey getting you down already? Come on, drink your tea. It'll get cold. Coin babies that close. What do you think of it? Oh, take it back where you got it. Let's get out of here. Oh, don't get nervous about a little killing after you've been around a while. I want me to think to you. Oh, no? Somebody tells me old Lysee maybe knows plenty about that gold coin game. Maybe. Oh, yes, but let's get out of here. Hey, where are we going? I don't like the looks of this street. This is Lover's Lane. We're on the way to Lysee. How do you spell it? What's that meant for? I don't know, but I've got a hunch we ought to keep walking. Walking? What do you mean? Let's run. What's the matter with you? You don't want people to think we're scared, do you? Of course, I don't mind if we walk a little faster. Hey, man! Well, what the... Why don't you two kids go home? You better run down to the Chinese restaurant. They're just nice another Chinaman. What? Come on, you. You're going home. I'm not kidding, but I'm not going to walk. Call me a taxi. In the middle of the ocean, you ask for a taxi. All right. Let's not go that way, though. It's too dark. All right. Take your... Ah! Ah! Okay, now this ceases to be a joke. You're telling me what a dent that would have made in some Chinaman's head. Well, what about ours? We think they're made out of cast iron. Oh, don't be afraid. Ah! Well, this is just as good a time as any. Honey, I hate to go without seeing life. See, uh, it's a new angle I got in this story. All right, you write it, and I'll read it at home in the morning. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of now. C come on, be a good boy, will you? Do you call a cab, or do I call Chuck Roberts? Taxi cab! talking about you didn't get hurt did you no it's not your fault i can always replace the hat you know but this is the only head i got oh and what a head what are you thinking about chuck robert why don't you what chuck robert you can go now Oh, all right. That's the way you feel about it. I'm going back to see old Lysi. See, I'm going to ask him a few questions. How can you talk if your throat's cut? Hello. Oh, driver, I like that. Will you do it again? Hey, what was that? Chloroform. Hey, darling. Hey, fall over there, will you, driver? You all right, Donna? Hey, I didn't know that fellow was on a running board. Yeah, take this and keep the change. Take your little wagon. We'll walk. Right. Come on. Snap out of it, darling. I want to go home. I'm going to take you home right now, darling. Thanks for the buggy ride. Hold in front and man all wrong. you find him back all old life to shop. Hear what he said, Peg? I've got to go to life seat. You've got to go home alone. I should say not. I can't take you home now. This thing is red hot. Who said I wanted to go home? I'm going to stay with you. I got a couple of things to tell that Chinaman myself. Had a girl. 
Gosh, it's dark in there. Maybe we ought to... Don't maybe me. Back tomorrow. I thought they had something really important to tell this guy. I'll phone him. Well, forget it. This is big. Hey, we'll probably be written up ourselves on this story. Yeah, but in what column? Ah, don't be silly. Hello? 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 Hello
in there. Why not? Try and keep me out. Yay! Pardon me, I uh, hope we're not intruding, but uh, would you mind telling me how we got here? Where are we? You are in the house. Don't talk to me. Wait, never. Hey, do you hear what she called us? Ah, uh, what's the difference as long as we get the story we're after? You are in the house of Wong. What did I tell you, the house of Wong? Wong, great man. Someday, Wong, great emperor. Ah, did I have a hunch or did I have a hunch? Hey, we better call the police. And get those poor policemen in trouble. You would like to see Wong? Don't tell secrets. I will. Ma'am, he killed you. He tortured. Don't go. Don't go. I'm not afraid. We're heading for trouble. Heading for it. We're in it. You want to go upstairs and stay with that servant woman. And have you tell me I can't take it? Don't be silly. You are a devil. Sometimes politeness is a virtue. Again, it is but a better path of judgment. You're a fine one to talk about politeness. Oh, so they got you too, huh? Oh, you do forgive my lack of courtesy. Allow me, Mr. Newspaper Man. May I present Grey Fai Tung, head of the secret service of Kila. Hey, where have I seen you before? Fear nothing, see nothing, speak nothing. Ah, I get you now. I guess what? Smart young man. You wanted a story for your paper, and now you have it. But I cannot promise that he will ever print it. seclude you from so honorable an ally. You will remember that he too desired to discover Wong. Yeah, we caught up with him, didn't we? <laughs> Your success may turn to bitterness. And you may wish you had not meddled with the affairs of Wong. Jay, why don't you do something? Yeah. Yes, perhaps, uh, you have a hunch? Yeah, uh, well, things I can think of that I'd like to do. And perhaps you are of the opinion that you alone are gifted with ideas? Hey, listen. Would you mind telling me what kind of a show is this you're putting on? You Americans are always in such a hurry. Time came before man. There's plenty of it. 
Do not hurry. Haste is such a futile gesture. Man, what now? I've got a hunch. I think we're in a tight spot. Clever people, these reporters. Ow, what are you doing? What huh? I think is at the end of that court, I'm going to do funny in the next few minutes. What court? Still connected. Thanks, Joy, to witness my return. Delighted. Come in and cut yourself a piece of throat. Where have you hidden the sacred coin of Confucius? Try and find out. You're such a smart guy. Uh oh, what's that? Take it easy, you know. there was something wrong in there. Well, what do you know about that? Oh, 
All right, Carla. Wait a minute. Easy. All right. We're all over now. Chief, I've got to be fair with you. This is the first time I've ever been glad to see you. Well, who's your companion here in this? Oh, uh, yes. He wants you to meet Hai Sung, secret agent of the province of Gillette. Hai. The Confucius will let him fall into the hands of Wong. Wong has gone to join his ancestors. I knew I'd get this thing straightened out. Now I got a hunch. What? Scratch my back, will you? Oh. Ooh. Say, listen. Give it. Call you by my last name? I have to think it over. Well, what's the matter? Don't you love me? Guess I could learn to. Oh, I'll take you to get started. It's 11.30 now. <laughs> 